Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll show you how to use Stack on Android. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we'll be showing you how to use it on Android. So if you're wondering how to use it on PC, we also have a tutorial for that. So make sure to check out our channel. So first things first, for us to start using Slack here is we first have to install their official mobile application. So you can go ahead and open up Google Play Store here and look for Slack. So immediately you should be able to see the first Slack application here. Go ahead and click on it. Click on install and once it's actually installed, you will be able to see the open button there. So let's go ahead and click on open here. Now, the first thing that you'll see when you actually open up the application itself, you have the following option that says go on and sign in. Now, if you don't have an account yet, you can go ahead and click on go on here. And it's going to give you an intro what stack here is, here is. And in this case, you'll be able to choose in what way you want to continue. Now, the good thing about Slack here is uh, you ha have the option to basically connect your Google account if you have one and you want to use it as a means of creating your uh, Slack account. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and continue whatever way here, maybe for uh, manually through your email or via your Google account. Now, you also have the option to sign in with workspace URL. So if someone actually shared a workspace URL, you'll be able to use that. But in this case, since I already have my account, I want to go back here and just click on sign in. And I want to click on continue with Google. And from here, let's go ahead and choose our account. Now, once you've done that, we should be able to see the official Slack homepage here. Now, if this is the first time that you are accessing um, Slack here, they might ask you a few things here. Like, for example, they might ask you to create a new uh, uh, work, uh, workspace here and a channel. Now, we first have to discuss what are the basic things that you should know here on Slack. Now, the current plan that I'm using right now for Stack is going to be free. So there's going to be some limitations on the free plan that I have, but it's actually pretty usable with uh, with it being actually free. Now, in this case, uh, with the free version, you could actually create one workspace as well as a limited number of uh, channels here. Now, workspaces, you can take of this as your office that would actually contain channels. Now, channel channels are going to be uh, like certain, like for example, this is going to be a specific room for a specific topic now maybe the topic is about software development you have you can ha create a new channel there about that or if you have a channel for software testing you can go ahead and also create that now by default you have two uh immediate uh, channels when you actually start creating your account here so you have general and random now also you uh they will actually ask you to create also a personalized channel here so you might get three channels here but as you can see i already have four channels here because i actually created one before now in this case so how, how do we actually start navigating it so let's first navigate the uh, following icons that you see at the very bottom now the home page here actually contains your canvases drafts and sends later your channels and even your direct messages now if you are looking for something immediate like someone actually message you this uh, most likely you will be able to see it immediately so whenever you open up your application the home page is going to be your best friend now at the top left of your screen you should be able to see your icon and uh, your uh, current workspace so if you want to add a new workspace you can go ahead and click on add a workspace and you have three options here to create a uh, basically add a workspace so you have the option to sign in to another workspace join another workspace or create a new workspace for your account now if someone actually shared a link uh, regarding on their workspace you could enter them by just clicking on the option here to join another workspace and from here you need to select a email address here so maybe i want to select this one and from here it's going to say ask for invite so there are any additional workspaces that are approved for gmail email addresses so this will you be able to see any uh, invites that you have now in this case uh, if you want to sign into another workspace you could choose a different account here if you want to create a new one you just need to fill out all or choose the appropriate settings here like for example i just chosen my email address here it's going to ask me what is the company name here so yeah if you're if you have a fairly new account this is the first thing that you'll see on your screen but for now since we're not looking into creating a new workspace right now uh, we are going to utilize what we already have here which is actually named software company now, in this case, you also have your preferences here. Like for example, if you want to change the language, the current team right now. So if you want to change this to the, uh, dark mode, like for example, I want to turn this on. It should uh, switch over to dark mode. 
Now, also, if you go back in here, you'll be able to uh, basically do a few things here. Like, for example, if you want to click on the specific uh, switch over to a different uh, workspace, you go ahead and just click on it, and you should be able to see the homepage for that specific workspace. Now, at the very bottom, you have DMs. Now, DMs stands for direct messages. So if anyone actually messaged you within Slack, this is where you'll be able to see them. You could also create a new message by clicking on the pencil icon that you see at the top right bottom of your screen, just above the icons that we saw before. And you could just search or uh, be search for the person that you want to chat with. So maybe for, let's say, we want to send a message on our general here. So in this... Uh, we want to remove this one and just choose general and from here maybe you want to say hello everyone and from here we should be able to send this one and as you can see we were able to send that now from here in the dms like what we said before this will be you'll be able to see your direct messages now mentions is a great way for you to keep track who actually mentioned you like for example if someone needs something from you immediately this you'll be this is where they will be able to uh you you'll be able to see who actually mentioned you now especially this uh something really helpful because sometimes your channels can be something a lot so sometimes chat uh different um Workspaces here has a lot of channels, so it might uh, come to 50, 30. It might be confusing as time goes on. There's going to be something, a lot of things that is going on around here. So going to the Dimension tab is something really helpful just to keep track on where you are mentioned and you are needed. Now, if you want to utilize search functionality here, you should be able to search for people, for channels or workflows. And you also have the option to narrow down your searches. Like for example, I just wanted to uh, type in hi here. And we should be able to uh, search for messages here. So as you can see, I actually frequently mentioned hi on my messages. And it should actually appear here. But it, this might actually uh, take a while. So yeah, so in this case, as you can see, I just said hi on the following channel there. Now, if you want to manage yourself, you could go to the U tab here, which in this case, you should be able to see your current status. Like for example, if you want to say you're working remotely in a meeting or a commuting or out sick today, you can go ahead and uh, change that. So maybe I want to uh, choose in, in a meeting here. I want to choose that and just click on save at the top right. And uh, everyone should now be informed that I'm currently in the meeting and this should actually turn off after one hour. Now, in this case, if you want to set yourself away, you could go ahead and do that. So if you want to set yourself active, you can go ahead and cl uh, click on set as active. Now, also, if you want to view your profile, just click on view profile here. If you want to edit your name, edit your status, your profile, your picture here, and even your contact information. Now, if you click on the tree that icon at the top right, you should be able to see the option to copy your display name and view files that you have right now. Now, also, if you want to uh, change your preferences, you could go ahead and do that as well here. So there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here. Now, going back, so let's just discuss the main features that you could uh, do here on Slack. So the main feature here is you could actually create channels, which in this case, in turn, going to be uh, different rooms that you could discuss uh, certain topics with. Like, for example, if you want to create a new channel, just click on Add Channel here, and you could go ahead and search for channels, or if you want to create a new one, just click on the plus button at the bottom right. So maybe I want to say this for the release channel. So this is going to be anything that is about releasing software or whatnot. So in this case, just click on Next. And from here, you have two options. You have two option, the option to uh, make it public or private only. So in public, anyone that is within the following uh, workspace should be able to see who uh, the specific uh, channel here. But if you set this to private, you'll only be you will be able to basically set a group of people who could, could only view that specific um, channel. Now, maybe if you want to set this to private, just use private here and just click on create, and that should now be a, uh, created. Now, in this case, you just need to input their name or their email address here to add them. But if you want to skip this one for now, just click on X to the top right. And as you can see, we just created the release channel here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start using them. Like, if you want to edit a specific channel here, like add people or whatnot, so you just need to press and hold on that specific channel, and you have the option to mute star channel if you want to view it immediately copy name copy link copy huddle link or even leave the channel if you want to now in this case uh you could go ahead and do those things so maybe we want to add a new person here 
So let's go ahead and click on the channel. So maybe let's go to release. And from here, click on the name of the channel at the top section. And from here, you have the option to add people. So maybe I want to add a uh, new, so add to private channel. So members will be able to see the channel history and all shared files. So add to channel and just choose the people that you want to add here. Now, in this case, that's how you add your channel. So also, if you want to manage your channel here, like for example, if you have any bookmarks, apps, or workflows in this, you also have the uh, option to mute and, uh, and change if notification settings. Now, in the messages here, you could go ahead and press and hold on it, and you have the option to react to them or even do a bunch of things here. Like for example, save this for later if you want to revisit it later. And also, if you want to forward this or get notified about new replies regarding this specific message here, and if you want to copy the link message, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, if you want to manage your uh, like your workspace here, like for example, you want to share this, what we need to do here is click on the name of that channel at the top left. And from here, just click on the tree dotted icon and you have the option to invite members or, your, or sign out from this specific channel. So if you invite them, you just need to add them via your contact, share this link or add them by email. So whatever you choose here is a great way. Like for example, if you just want to share this link, just click on share link here and choose a platform or software to share this with. But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use Slack here on your phone. It's actually pretty easy and straightforward and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.